If you've seen my earlier videos, you've seen me sitting on my palette pile, dreaming of the day in which it's transformed into a little studio. In early 2020, Gilberto and I built a chicken coop edition out of palettes, and it only cost us $5 for a box of screws. So naturally, it got us thinking, what else can we build with palettes? So we decided to build a studio, a 120 square foot room with a loft out of pallets and cob. Gilberto's dad offered to help since he has knowledge in construction and away we went. Now we started the project in the spring of 2021. And at some point I began to really question it because I had never built anything out of cob before and it just seemed so daunting. So Gilberto invited me on a little field trip to his friend's Cobb homestead, which was absolutely inspiring. Pretty much every building was created with clay, sand, straw, and reclaimed materials. And this main house was built right around this beautiful oak tree. My camera work wasn't the best, partly because I was so excited and overwhelmed by how detailed and imaginative every nook and cranny of this homestead was. But I decided to go ahead and share some scenes because my hope is that they inspire you to play and create with nature and imagine without limits. There were so many cob structures on this property, and I'm only showing you a few of them, but every single one was so whimsical and imaginative and reflected the character, style, and love of its creator. True to permaculture principles, the homestead demonstrated stacking functions. Here, living cacti are used as regenerative fences, fire breaks, and beautiful landscaping. On this homestead, formerly discarded objects are valued and given a new life. And although Betty had a hand in each one of these houses, some were built by friends who wanted to challenge themselves to build a home without any money and reconnect with the soul of the earth.
The visit culminated in a tour of T's Japanese-inspired dojo, which was absolutely exquisite down to every detail, and a lesson in why it's worth taking the time to create something that will bring you joy every time you use it. My footage of the dojo is choppy and doesn't do the space justice, but I wanted to share it anyways as a reminder that cop builds don't have to be round, they don't have to be cottages, they can be anything that you dream of. It was hard to leave, but with this inspiration, we were ready to get back to work, framing the studio. And I faced my fear of heights and climbed to the loft to help hammer in the final panel. lot of work in extremely hot weather, but the dream carried us to continue. And now here's our studio, framed in pallets and ready to be cobbed. <laughs> 